Hello everybody. Hope you're having a wonderful Saturday. I'd like to give a shout out, if I may, to Christy, Leanne, and Veronica. Thank you guys for commenting and for subscribing to my channel. So, um, <clears throat> today I've been, um, what I did was find in my stash these repair tags and also these um, little square pieces of um, cardstock that I had in my stash and I thought what could I do to make something out of this little bit of um, stuff that I have that I found today. So what I came up with was these little um, tags here. I put uh, backing on the back so you could write. I tied them with a little bit of the string, put a little flip on the front, put some more little uh, bit of coffee dyed paper there to write on. And um, I did, I wanted to cover up some of it with some pretty paper. And I also thought that um, I had these little, I found these little tags in my stash and I thought I might also add may, maybe something like that to the bottom and then I could put a little tag or something in a pocket just to make, um, you know, you could leave it plain like that or I thought about putting a little pocket and a tag in there. So that's all I've been doing today was just playing with these. So I thought I would show you how I put them together in case you have some repair tags that maybe you want to do something with and start um, making some ephemera. So I'm going to lay these aside somewhere. And this is what I started with. I have the repair tag here. I took the string off. I hope you all are having a wonderful weekend. And then these, if you don't have one of these, um, they measure, I mean, you can just cut out a piece of cardstock or anything, and these just measure three and a half by three and a half. So it's three and a half square is what I, uh, is what I've been using. Just, I just grab these just to use them up because what am I going to use them for? Just have to start using this stuff. So what I did was I took my scoreboard with this little card here and I scored them at two and three quarters because I just wanted just enough to fold around the um, the tag. So two and three quarters and that bends this way so it will um, hook on to the side of the tag. So I put it about right there and you'll see that um, the tab is on the back. Again, that's why I covered the back also so you could hide the tag on the back. So I'm going to take my art glitter glue and I am just going to glue right on the little tab that we made. Hope you guys are having a good day. It's nice out here, nice and warm. And I'm going to take my tag, line it up, and just Burnish that right down there, just to make a little, um, a little flip front, okay? And then I wanted to decorate the tag somehow, so I just grabbed right out of my stash. This is all coming right from my stash. 
<sighs> piece of um, paper here and I think I want to just tear it at a little angle like this to fit right along here. And I just want to tear this down a little bit more because it's hanging over the edge. Ah, my fingers are sticky. Paper's sticking right to my fingers. So I wanted um, a little bit of paper down here. So that looks good. I will do a little inking before I put this down. My husband is very, very appreciative of those of you who are ordering these little inkers. He loves to make them for special people and um, he's very excited uh, about getting these orders for these. So thank you, really appreciate it. Oh, it's not coming out at all. Just a second here. See if I can get this running. I have to um, goodness gracious, I don't know what's wrong with this. I have to I uh, guess clean my bottle get it to get it to uh, run out better. Now this, um, of course, you know, you just leave the, this so this will close nice. So just tack it down right like that. And then on this part here, I just wanted a little piece of maybe some line paper. I use line paper or coffee paper whatever is available for that comes out of my stash so I'm gonna put this right here ink got to ink <clears throat> ink this a little bit here So I just um, got back with my daughter-in-law from the Hartville Thrift store and got a bunch of goodies at that store. Um, it's about probably about a half hour away from us, and they woo there we go. They have some nice. Um, books and you know fabric and lace and whatever you may <clears throat> want for crafting buttons and threads and there we go see so this will be a little writing space there on this side I want I think um, let's see what this would look like. I think I like this side better. So I'm going to measure here and here. And I will cut that real quick. I know I'm off. <clears throat> I know I'm off camera, but not much room. I have a desk full, just full of things today. So, 
Sorry about that. Had to cut off camera, but just, um, <clears throat> just, you know, a piece big enough to cover the front, but also I like to leave a little, uh, a little <clears throat> edge around, like a little frame. So that's gonna go right here. Okay, whoops. Went on a little crooked. That's okay, we're just going to ink that up. Okay, now for this, uh, for the focal point on this one, I thought I would use this. I'm not sure if I would like it, but this is just a little cut off that I found in my stash, but it's a little big. So other than that, I have these little tea cards that I like. And I think this one will be cute so instead of the miss i'm going to use a little bird so i'm going to ink it up and i like to have a little bit of something sticking out from it either the top or the bottom I think I like it at the top. So I'm going to distress this a little to get some of the white. Tone it down a little. Put on my little tea card. I love these little tea cards. I don't remember where I got them from, but if I find out, I'll put it on the link, link it below. I know I got some from Tracy. I think Tracy Fox, I got some. Um, she has them and I'm not sure who else carries them, but I like them. For little projects like this, I'm just gonna cut that end off a little bit. Okay. Okay, so I like that. Um, on the inside, actually I've got to do the back too. So on the back, all I'm going to do is get some coffee dyed paper. I'm going to glue this. down stick it down here we go and then just cut right around it Those of you who know that I made my um, my niece <clears throat> uh, a journal, uh, um, I know I told some of you that she we find found out that she has um, stage three colon cancer, so I made her a prayer journal and I sent it out to her and she received it and absolutely loved it. She said it was very thoughtful of me to make it for her. And she liked it a lot. So I was um, very, very happy that she has received it and likes it. I'm just gonna repunch the hole right here. Just like that. I am going to ink a 
pink around. I am going to put a little tie at the top. Come on. There we go. And because this uh, likes to pop up a little, what I have been doing is the, the string that I got from the top of the tags the string I <clears throat> recycle, reuse, recycle, and tie it right around the front here. If I can grab it. So I reuse the string tie it right around like that and there you have a repair tag that is decorated for any journal very easy very fun and um, I even have some words here if you wanted to stick a word at the bottom let's try it looks like they have uh, the paper has um, peace lilies on it, so I am going to take the word peace and, oh goodness, I've got to fix this bottle. And just put this right down at the bottom. And there you have it, a beautiful, uh, I should say, an ugly duckling repair tag turned into a beautiful little tag to use in your journal. So that is what I have been doing with my repair tags. If you guys have them to, uh, <clears throat> to play with. Try it. See how you like it. It's very fun. All I do is get out a bunch of stuff in front of me and I have my box of, of throw, uh, scraps and that is what I've been doing. Very fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial. I hope you, if you have some um, repair tags that you try to do something with them like this, we need to start using up our stash. That is what we need to do. So you guys have a wonderful Saturday. I hope you're crafting. Enjoy your weekend and I will talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.